Hey everyone! Welcome back! Today's video is all about unlocking the secrets of 5 awesome phrasal verbs. Grab your snack, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the world of cool phrasal verbs. To fall out. First, we'll discuss the meaning of the phrasal verb to fall out. The phrasal verb to fall out can have multiple meanings depending on the context. Hey, did you hear about Tom and Jerry? Oh no, what happened? They fell out again. Apparently, they had a big argument over the budget for the upcoming project. Seriously? They need to figure things out. We can't afford any delays. Yeah, and that's not the only problem. The outdoor event we were planning also fell out. What? Why? The weather forecast changed, and there's a high chance of rain. Our outdoor plans fell out just like that. Ugh, this is not going well. What about the presentation for tomorrow? That fell out too. The projector malfunctioned, and we couldn't get it fixed in time. Everything seems to be falling out today. What a mess. Did you at least manage to schedule a meeting with the client to resolve the budget issue? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Hopefully, we can sort things out before it gets worse. Let's hope so. It's just one of those days where everything seems to be falling out of place. Let's begin with the first meaning. To fall out can be used when referring to disagreements or quarrels between people. It signifies a gap or tension in relationships. Jimmy and Lisa fell out and didn't talk for a day after their disagreement about what movie to watch. The neighbors fell out because the tree in their yard kept dropping leaves on each other's lawns. Now let's move on to the second meaning. To fall out can also mean accidentally dropping or losing something. Like when you're in a hurry and your things fall out of your bag. While running to catch the bus, Jane's papers fell out of her folder. She noticed her hair starting to fall out more than usual, so she made an appointment with her doctor. Some of my baby teeth started to fall out after I wiggled them too much. Now, the third meaning involves relationships. To fall out can describe the gradual distancing or loss of connection between individuals. As the years passed, Tim and Sue fell out because they didn't spend as much time together, and their friendship became less strong. Bobby and Lily fell out because they moved to different neighborhoods, and it became harder for them to see each other. Lastly, the fourth meaning involves unexpected events or changes in plans. For example, if you were all set to have a picnic in the park, but then it starts raining unexpectedly, your picnic plans might fall out. Our weekend getaway fell out when the sudden storm made outdoor activities impossible. The class reunion fell out because of someone who spread rumors and caused tension among former classmates. To chew over. Sarah, did you get a chance to think about where we should go for our weekend trip? Not yet, Tom. I've been busy with work. Let's sit down tonight and chew over the travel brochures together. Great idea. I want to chew over the pros and cons of each destination before we make a decision. Me too. I want this trip to be well planned. By the way, did you get a chance to chew over the budget? I did. I've been carefully chewing it over, and I think we can stick to our planned budget if we make some adjustments. Perfect. It's essential to chew over the financial aspects to avoid any surprises during the trip. Agreed. Let's make it a priority to chew over everything tonight so that we can finalize our travel plans. The phrase chew over means to think about something carefully. It's like taking time to consider and reflect on things before making a decision. Mark enjoys sitting by the lake, taking the time to chew over his thoughts and relax. Before buying a new dress, 
Jenny prefers to chew over different styles and colors. Alex needed some time to chew over the job offer before accepting it. To tuck away. Have you ever wondered how Susan manages her money so well? Oh yeah, she's got a smart routine. She tucks away a portion of her salary into a savings account every month. That's a good idea. I need to start doing that too. Speaking of tucked away, did you notice Mike hiding a key under the doormat? Yeah, he tucked away the key there for emergencies. You know, just in case he ever locks himself out. Smart move. I might do the same. You never know when you'll need it. I'm really craving some peace and quiet. Any suggestions for a serene getaway? There's a small village tucked away in the hills. It's away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Perfect. I could use a break from the city noise. To tuck away means putting something in a safe and hidden place like a secret drawer in a desk or a quiet corner in a house. It's like keeping something safe and private in a specific location so others won't easily find it. She tucked away the old family photo in a drawer to keep it safe. Sarah likes to tuck away a small portion of her monthly earnings in a separate account for future vacations. The cafe owner decided to tuck away a small garden in the back, creating a serene environment for customers to enjoy their coffee outdoors. The bakery is tucked away in a charming alley known only to those who explore the side streets. To muddle up. The phrasal verb muddle up has a couple of related meanings. So, how did your date with Leo go last night? Oh, it was a total disaster. We completely muddled each other up with someone else at the restaurant. How so? Turns out there was another couple named Leo and Lisa at the same table. We kept confusing them with each other, passing dishes and making awkward conversation. Oh no, that sounds mortifying. It was. But honestly, we ended up laughing about it together. Turns out the real Leo and Lisa are a hilarious couple too. I see. Even muddled up situations can lead to unexpected connections. Maybe you all can grab a double date sometime and clear up the confusion. Great idea. Maybe we can even muddle up the bills just for fun. The first meaning of the phrasal verb to muddle up is that it involves making a mistake by confusing two similar things or people. I often muddle up the names of identical twins. They look so alike. In the dim light, I tend to muddle up my black and navy socks. Another meaning of to muddle up is to make a mistake or do something in the wrong order. I muddled up the instructions and ended up assembling the furniture backwards. He muddled up the meeting schedule and everyone arrived at the wrong time. To mouth off. Did you hear about the argument in the cafeteria today? Yeah, it got pretty intense. Tom started to mouth off about his grades and it turned into a heated debate. Classic Tom. Why does he always feel the need to mouth off about everything? I have no idea. He just can't resist showing off, even if it means getting into arguments. It's like he needs to mouth off to prove a point. Well, he really needs to learn to keep his opinions to himself sometimes. It just creates unnecessary drama. Totally agree. I wish he wouldn't mouth off about personal matters in public. It makes everyone uncomfortable. Speaking of which, did you see Jenny mouth off to the boss during the meeting? No way. What happened? 
She disagreed with the new policy and started to mouth off about how it wouldn't work. It got awkward real fast. Yikes! That's not the best way to express disagreement. She should learn to voice her opinions more tactfully. Exactly. Mouthing off like that in a professional setting is just asking for trouble. The phrase mouth off is an informal expression that means to speak loudly, rudely, or boastfully, often in a disrespectful or impudent manner. When someone is said to be mouthing off, it implies that they are talking in a way that is offensive, arrogant, or confrontational. It can also refer to speaking without restraint or talking excessively without considering the consequences of their words. When John drinks too much, he tends to mouth off and say things he later regrets. The heated debate, Mark couldn't help but mouth off, making the discussion more intense. 